Welcome back. Yesterday we made us a big old generous pile of block over here. Block. We're going to try a new system today. Now that we got the elevator, we can split and load simultaneously. And we discovered that we can do around three core an hour with one guy splitting and loading right here. So two changes are coming. First change, we're going to be eyeballing our loads from here on out one day of loading with an elevator and <clears throat> we're both spoiled after that we're never going to load by hand again that's just crazy <laughs> so we're gonna saturday or whatever when we don't you know when we have time or orders we're gonna just work on making block big piles of block we're gonna block right there block pile there block pile there just like that one and we're going to put them all together and there's going to create a gravitational field that'll uh accumulate more block anyways i gotta run firewood today just two core just two trips won't be too bad but i won't be able to stay and play with the elevator for the first beginning of the day but i will stick around long enough to make sure it's working so on tangents aside appreciate you guys watching our stuff so on one of the shorts i think a shorter yeah video <clears throat> got a comment from a viewer i'll see if i can find his name taggy in the video but he had a real good eye he he or she i'm not i'm not sure the person had really good eye they said hey nice chevy and literally all you could see was just the bumper i was like holy cow this person is a genius so anyways, this one's for you, stranger. This is my truck. It is a junkyard rat. There has been many, this is a lot of different vehicles. <laughs> it's not just a, a, the black is just patina. It's just all the same color. This has been uh, Frankenstein a hundred times before I even got to it and I've been Frankenstein it. And then, uh, so we got a, not a full floating rear end, but it's a heavy duty rear end. I have no idea what size the ring gear is. It's that ring gear. It's a beast. It's um, geared real low, man. I tell you at like 55 miles an hour, I'm, I'm rung out. I can't go any faster than 55 without the engine screaming for mercy. Lots of springs, too many springs. Big old stack of springs. Got a three or a four inch lift in the front so that way it would line up with the back the previous owner did that to be honest you can't even really tell it's lifted it just seems like the right size for this truck got lockers just rebuilt them very simple good design on the lockers Let's see if we're not too tweaked to get the hood open if you're a chevy guy you know you gotta pull the hood release Tweak the hood. There you go. <laughs> Every time it's something different too. Sometimes you gotta hit the hood on the top. So here's the power plant we got in there. An old 350 I found on Marketplace. Now this truck originally came with a 292 straight six. To be completely honest with you, in some respects, I, I missed the straight six. It was a good engine. This is, this is better. I mean, it doesn't have the same torque um that straight six did though the whole reason i took the straight six out was because i couldn't really find a decent carburetor for it now in hindsight i wish i had kind of i kind of wanted to try an edelbrock setup on it but it would have been a lot of work just as much work as putting a 350 in so there it is 700 bucks runs perfect sort of consumes oil but i think that's part of the course this year's died she's a beast I'm worried every time I drive it, it's gonna break down, but it hasn't left me stranded yet. Today's a new day though. Today could be the day it leaves me stranded. <laughs> On the content.
attacked by mosquitoes, man. Thanks for watching the episode, guys. Really enjoyed the first weekend where our elevator. I tell you what, that thing is a lifesaver. We're not going back ever, ever again. We're not going to load by hand. I hope not, anyways. It breaks a lot, like literally all the time. It's continuously failing, which is fine. It's good. We can keep it running. It's going to test our ingenuity, and we're going to become experts of the ancient elevator. So having said that, hopefully you guys stuck around to the end. If you did, leave us a comment in the bottom. Say hi. We always return our comments, and I tell you what, hopefully we'll see you next time.